This is the Momentum Podcast. Welcome. I'm excited to be here today. I am continuing the series of videos that I've been doing on the CEO founder operator relationship. You know, in our organization, it's one of the most important things that we teach. It's one of the most important bodies of content that we have because as visionary entrepreneurs, here's where we should be focused. We should be focused on that trip that we make every day into the future to create a new reality, come back to the present and make it become real. And one of the most important factors in helping us make our visions become reality is having a really amazing operator in our business that can help us do that. They can help us move things forward. And so as visionaries, we need to stay where we are focused on the future. And our operators are the people who are the, the individuals who help us get things done, make sure the details are done. They strategically execute the tactical within the business so that it gets done well and the business grows. You know, I, I and and as entrepreneurs, we need that person in our lives. We need that operator. And here's what I find all the time is that, and I've said this before in a couple of videos, I just want to repeat this, is that oftentimes I hear from entrepreneurs that are like, hey, I found a great operator and they have different titles. You know, sometimes an operator is an executive assistant, a personal assistant, sometimes they're called an operator, operations manager, project manager, it's not always project manager, sometimes project manager, but director of operations, VP of operations, COO are all titles in kind of the path of what an operator grows into into. And what I hear often, and you've heard me say this before, is that entrepreneurs will hire operators, they're really excited about them, and then they're not. And they feel like something's shifted, something's changed. And here's what I've found in most of those situations, is that as entrepreneurs, we are tripping over one of the things that really makes things hard for an operator. If you have an operator, an assistant, a personal assistant, an operations manager, a project manager, somebody who's helping you get things done in the business, who started out well and then becomes challenging, or started out well and now is not performing like you want, it's probably because you are holding them back. And I know that's hard for us as entrepreneurs to hear and hard for us to absorb that it may be us that's causing the problem. But there's a reason. See, there's a reason why we need operators is because we have a much different personality type than most operators. And there's a reason why we need their help is because we don't have the same capabilities, the same personality, the same the same vision of operating a business like they do. And so today I want to share with you what your operator wants and needs more than just about anything else. I'm Alex Sharfin, and this is the Momentum Podcast, made for empire builders, game changers, trailblazers, shot takers, record breakers, world makers, and creators of all kinds. Those among us who can't turn it off and don't know why anyone would want to. We challenge complacency, destroy apathy, and we are obsessed with creating momentum so we can roll over bureaucracy and make our greatest contribution. Sure, we pay attention to their rules, but only so that we can bend them, break them, then rewrite them around our own will. We don't accept our destiny. We define it. We don't understand defeat because you only lose if you stop and we don't know how. While the rest of the world strives for average and clings desperately to the status quo, we are the minority, the few who are willing to hallucinate there could be a better future. And instead of just daydreaming of what could be, we endure the vulnerability and exposure it takes to make it real. We are are the evolutionary hunters, clearly the most important people in the world, because entrepreneurs are the only source of consistent, positive human evolution, and we always will be. The operator's highest value, the value that they hold most important, is autonomy. And let me tell you where we got this. We we actually talk a lot to operators in our organization. When you look at the balance of how who we train in our company, we start out a lot with the CEO and the entrepreneur and the operator. But over time, we're probably balanced 60, 40 or 70, 30 towards more supporting the operator in the business because that's where the operations actually happen. And what we hear all the time is that operators want autonomy. They want to be able to go out and get things done. And let me tell you why. See, when you when we uh, at our events, oftentimes what we'll do is we'll pull up an operator panel. We'll pull up three extraordinary operators that are helping run businesses in our membership. And we'll start asking them questions. And here's what we hear all the time. When they are micromanaged, it's incredibly challenging for them. It's hard for them to understand how to get things done when there's too much direction. When, there is, when the CEO's 
stepping in in the middle of projects and taking things over. That is like a atom bomb or a hand grenade to an operator's uh, entire view of the business, their entire view of what they're working on. And they want autonomy more than anything else because the operator personality type wants to be able to assemble the processes, assemble the, the structure, the routine so that everything works. Most operators are kind of perfectionists, some closet perfectionists, some are out in the open perfectionists, and they want to be able to make sure everything works together. And when they are left alone to be able to do that, that's when they can accomplish it. And so what entrepreneurs often say to me is like, what, I'm supposed to ignore my operator? Not at all. Here's what we need to do as entrepreneurs. We need to step out of transactional management with our operators and step into transformational management with our operators. And this is where the life, here's, this is where life changes. This is where it becomes game changing. Here's what I mean by transactional management with our operators. When we're working with our operators, if we are um, telling them what to do, then checking that it got done and then telling them what to do again, it is brutal. Here's what that looks like. You hire an operator and at the beginning, it feels like you're getting a lot of stuff done because you're telling them to get things done for you. They're getting it done. And then, but we get into this loop of transactional management, setting something up, checking that it got done, telling them what to do, checking that it got done, giving them something else, checking that it got done. It is brutal. Now, transformational leadership is completely different and the operator, operator personality types completely lean into and love transformational leadership. That's where we give our operator clear outcomes. We coach success when they have questions and then we get leveraged results. Let me tell you what you need in order to be able to do this. See, in most entrepreneurial businesses, transformational management is near impossible because in order to be able to hand things off to your operator and let go, in order to be able to give them things and let them achieve, in order to be able to stop micromanaging, here's what we need. There's really three things. We need one, clear outcomes. And what does clear outcomes mean? We need a strategic plan that we can give our operator for the business. And in a strategic plan, we call it the waterfall. A strategic plan lists all the projects that you are doing in a quarter, all the the policies that you're putting into place in your business in a quarter, all the people that are being promoted, hired, moved around in the business, what people, things you have going on, and then what, what, um, processes are being documented or improved. A strategic plan should list all four of those exits to delegation. You know, as entrepreneurs, we often think we delegate to a person. Well, we can delegate to a person, a policy, a project, or a process in our business. And all of those things should be documented on a strategic plan. So your operator knows where they're focused. Your operator knows what they should be doing. And when we have this strategic plan, the operator now has a clear outcome. So it's not just that we need to give them clear outcomes, then Second, we need to give them clear accountability. Here's what you are responsible for. Now, here's one of the biggest challenges with not giving an operator autonomy. Oftentimes, entrepreneurs partially transfer responsibility with, for something, which means they give it to their operator, but they don't really give it to their operator. They give it to them, then they're checking in, they're asking them questions, they're all over them, they're kind of micromanaging, and this is often because we haven't given them a clear enough outcome. So when we give them accountability, we've given them a clear outcome in the form of of a strategic plan, we've given them a clear outcome around each person, project, process, or policy that we are implementing in our business so they know exactly what those things are, and then it helps us let go. So it's not just clear outcomes and clear accountability. The third thing is we need some type of a measurement or scoreboard so that we feel confident in what our operator is doing. See, when we have a scoreboard or a checklist that shows us things are getting done or some visual representation of what's happening, it makes it so much easier for us to let go, stop micromanaging and let our operators go out and succeed. And so if you're in a place with your operator where you don't, where you feel like you're not letting go, where you feel like you haven't uh, given up um, the transactional management, you haven't given up looking at everything, you haven't, like, you're still micromanaging, you're talking to them way too much, you're interrupting them, all of those things throw an operator off and they can actually affect their performance. What we do in order to get maximum performance out of the operator, out of an operator personality type, is we do exactly what I just said. We give them hyper clear outcomes, a strategic plan, outcomes for all of the things that are being done in the business right now, whether it's a person process, project, or policy. We then back off 
because they have clear outcomes. We let them go pursue those outcomes and we wait till they have questions until they need to connect with us and then we can coach success. I always recommend you have a um, set up meeting, a, a scheduled meeting with your operator, usually once a day for about 10 to 15 minutes where they can answer questions. And then that's our coaching. That's coaching success. And then the way we get leverage results is we back off and we let them have the accountability to go do everything themselves. And then we look at the scoreboards with them. We look at the checklists that are getting done. What's growing in the business? Are we moving things forward? If you're willing to work this way with an operator, you can take a good operator and make them an incredible operator by giving them this space, by giving them this room. Here's the reality. In most businesses that have operators, they never get this space. They never get this room. They never fully get the opportunity to prove what they're capable of and succeed. So if you do this for an operator personality type, they're going to show up for you in a way that they don't show up in, for other people. They're going to take more initiative. They're going to take more risks. They're going to be more excited about things. They're going to get way more done in your business. And isn't that what we all want? I know for me, having our operator Haley is about getting more done, staying out of the tactics, staying out of the, over th out of the things that I don't like or overwhelm me and letting her really run things. In fact, I used to have a post-it note. I'm, I'm doing it now. I used to have a post-it note to remind myself every day. It said, let Haley lead on my computer so that I wasn't interrupting her. I wasn't micromanaging her. I wasn't, um, getting in the way of her and our team. And I wasn't undermining her in our, in front of our team, which is so important. The way you do that, like I said earlier, clear out, clear outcomes. You have a strategic plan. You know exactly what's going on with each thing on strategic plan. You give a a, a accountability through backing away and giving autonomy because now you know what the operator is doing. You check the scoreboards and you create massive forward progress by stepping into trans transformational leadership, which is clear outcomes, coaching success, and getting leveraged results. If you're interested in us helping you train your operator or us training your operator for you so that they can redu reduce pressure and noise for you, help you get more done, help you grow the business we want without having to do everything yourself, do me a favor, go to billionairecode.com, fill out the uh, quick form there for my team, and we will jump on a call with you. you. You'll get the billionaire code, which is the nine level framework that shows you how to go from startup to a hundred million dollar business. But more importantly, you also have an opportunity to schedule a call with me or a member of my team. We would love to jump on with you and go through our frameworks and show you how we can help you get more out of the business that you're running today, get the help you actually need to move things forward and create massive momentum so you can leave your dent in the universe. Go to billionairecode.com. We'd love to talk to you. And remember, your operator's number one value is autonomy. When you give it to them, you supercharge your relationship and your ability to get a ton done in your business without doing it all yourself. Billionairecode.com. We look forward to talking to you.